Who's uh, the Are you from there or? No. Why do you have such a negative opinion about it? You've been there before? How long have you spent there? Two days. Two days? That's about enough. I get it. <laughs> Not enough to boo it though whenever it's mentioned. Like how bad? How bad was those 48 hours that you're like, every time Ottawa is mentioned, from now until I die, I'm going to boo. Where's this guy from? Ottawa, boo! What, what happened in those two days? Did you know? Everything ended at 1am. At 1am, everything was closed. Were you at a bar? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, not true. I mean, <laughs> At all. I mean, 2 a.m. is the cutoff time in Ontario. They cut, well, maybe you just can't hold your liquor. Don't blame it on the city. You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? This past weekend, I was in beautiful Montreal, Montreal, as the locals would call it, in the old forum that the Montreal Canadiens won so many Stanley Cups in. Uh, they've since removed the rink and uh, put in at Tim Hortons, some sort of odd party shop, and on the top floor, the Comedy Nest, a club that I've been performing in throughout my comedic career. Had the worst out of my life in this club. I was a couple years in, and uh, the first time I came out, I had a decent set on the amateur night, so the uh, manager at the time, Ryan Butler, uh, brought me back couple months later to host that same amateur night. When I show up, there's maybe a handful of people scattered in this cavernous room. I get on stage, blow way over my time, and not only do I not get a single laugh, but the crowd is looking at me like, why is this guy on stage? I bring up the first sack with my tail between my legs, and then go back up and try again. But the crowd has not changed their mind. <laughs> it was probably the worst set of my life. I remember looking at all the comics I had left to bring up, just dreading going back on that stage. This weekend went a million times better. Well, couldn't have gone any worse. Did all my francophones get that joke? Is anybody in here who can only speak French? How would you know with that question I asked? That's a really good point. I have some great memories of Montreal, particularly on St. Catherine Street, where I went to my very first strip club back when I was 19 with my good buddies Ben and Patrick. Never been a fan of strip clubs, particularly because this one that I went to, Club Super Sex, uh, forced us to drink. I remember saying I didn't want to drink. They're like, well, you have to get a bottle of water then. And I did, and it cost $17. Any place that forces you to buy a 17-bottle bo bottle of water is uh, atrocious. Not only that, but my buddy Patrick ended up on stage, and he, the stripper took off his belt, pulled his pants down, and started whipping him with it. I just remember thinking to myself, why did I pay to see my own buddy's butt? I mean, he pulls this out all the time. I could have seen this in the hostel. 24 hours prior to that incident, uh, the three of us at the Trois Brasseurs having a pint. Patrick, who was quite ill, uh, finished his beer and then threw it all back up into the pint glass, putting it perfectly right to the rim. Ben, who had been at the washroom at the time, comes back out, realizing he's out of beer, jokingly grabs Patrick's and then chugs all of the regurgitated beer, and then high fives us. This time around a French town, I got to see one of my bestest and dearest friends, Matt Oase, who took me around, because he's a local, studying to be a dentist there. Took me to uh, this great bar where we sat and watched uh, Brazil lose in the World Cup. Uh, we got to see, uh, we went to Comic-Con, and uh, we saw this parade, which was uh, uh, quite entertaining. I think it was an anti-body shaming. Parade, so that was uh, that was something. <laughs> this week I'll be at Absolute Comedy in Ottawa, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Talk to you next week. Come on,